Hello everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel, The Cutting Board. We do all kinds of things here. We do true crime, food content, Disney content, hauls, reviews, DIY, SFX makeup. I have a lot of interests and I wanna share them with you. So it's the most wonderful time of the year and that means it's almost time for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party at the Magic Kingdom at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando. Now these are all the holiday snacks, both savory and sweet, that will be available for the holiday fun. And I will specify where the treats will be and if they'll be served all hours or just during the party or just during regular hours and whether it is new or a treat they've brought back. Now, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party will be held select nights from November 8th through December 20th. I'm very excited about it. Oh, I love this event. So let's start at the Main Street Bakery. I'm happy about this one because it's so cute and I did not get a chance to get one last year. It's letter to Santa. It's shaped like a little mailbox. It's a flourless chocolate cake with hot cocoa mousse and marshmallow topped with chocolate pieces. It's available during the party only. Next, another return and treat is the Mickey shaped cinnamon roll. It is really big. It has white icing and Christmas sprinkles on the ears. And this is available during the party as well as regular park hours. So you can get it anytime. At the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, they have one new item, and that is the gingerbread milkshake, which is vanilla ice cream with gingerbread syrup and ginger snap cookie crumbles, <laughs> whipped cream, and a chocolate candy piece. I believe it's shaped like a gingerbread man. And it's available during the Christmas party only. However, you can get it at the Plaza Restaurant during regular park hours and party hours. And returning this year is the Peppermint Brownie Sunday. It's a house bait brownie topped with peppermint ice cream, hot fudge, chocolate granola, and candy pieces. Oh, that is a lot. And another returning treat is the Peppermint Ice Cream Sandwich with two oatmeal, two oatmeal peppermint chip cookies filled with that peppermint ice cream and rolled in candy pieces. In addition to the gingerbread milkshake at the Plaza restaurant, so that's in the restaurant, they will also have a s'mores cake and that is chocolate cake with chocolate ganache, toasted marshmallow mousse, and sugar snowflakes. And it will be available during the party and regular park hours in the restaurant. At Casey's Corner, that's the hot dog place, they'll be having new this year, the holiday dinner hot dog. It's an all beef hot dog with turkey, gravy, fried onions, and cranberry sauce. And also new to Casey's Corner this year will be the holiday dinner loaded fries. It's the same toppings as the hot dog. It's turkey, gravy, fried onions, and cranberry sauce. Returning is the candy cane tart, which is a chocolate tart filled with um, a peppermint ganache. I'm trying to imagine what a pepper ganache would be. And it's topped with meringue. And they have a new non-alcoholic beverage, which is black currant and mint lemonade. It sounds interesting. All the Christmas items at Casey's Corner are available for the party only. So you can only get them during party hours. Now let's move over to Main Street Snacks. They will have a jumbo, jumbo pretzel with chocolate hazelnut drizzle, so Nutella, caramel sauce, Twix pieces, and sprinkles. And this pretzel will also be available at the pretzel cart in Storybook Circus. The pretzel is available only during party hours. Sounds like something Michael Scott would love. Also at Main Street Snacks and new this year, they will have hot cocoa churros. And that's a churro rolled in hot cocoa powder 
and then it's topped with marshmallows and peppermint candy. They went all in on the peppermint candy this year, it seems. This will also be available at the popcorn, popcorn cart near Cinderella Castle and the pop, popcorn cart in Storybook Circus. And you can get the churro during regular park hours and party hours. Main Street Snacks will also have a return and treat, and that is the Red Velvet Christmas Wreath Donut with buttercream and sprinkles. Um, and it's available during the party only. And you can also get that at the pop, pop, <laughs> popcorn cart near Cinderella Castle. Also, also available during the party only will be a gingerbread Coke. It's Coca-Cola with gingerbread syrup and is non-alcoholic. Magic Kingdom is a dry park except for a few sit-down restaurants. That's the way Walt wanted it. Um, the gingerbread Coke can also be found at the pop popcorn cart near Cinderella Castle. Why am I struggling with that so much? Popcorn cart. At Aloha Refreshments, you can get the returning holiday pog juice um, float with coconut, soft serve, and a spiced pineapple tree pop. Or the returning cranberry citrus float with Sprite winter spice cranberry and fruity boba pearls with Dole Whip. And both of these items will be available at the party only until 11 p.m. So after 11, you can't get them. The Golden Oak Outpost has three new items, and that is the Holiday Chicken Nugget Platter. It's chicken nuggets with sage butter and cranberry barbecue sauce. I love sage butter. With mashed potatoes and corn. Christmas beignets dusted with blue sugar cookie dust and served with cookie butter icing. And also fried a fried ice cream Christmas tree made with peppermint ice cream rolled in cereal and topped with cookie butter whipped cream and sprinkles. And all three items at the Golden Oak Outpost are, they're available during the party only. So you can only get them during party hours. Now let's go to Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. New this year will be the carne asada loaded fries with chipotle queso, caramelized onion, avocado salsa verde, and queso fresco. And also new will be the salted caramel horchata, which sounds yummy to me. Returning will be the cheese and chili tamale with mild red chili and grilled chili sauce, pumpkin seeds, citrus chipotle chicken, cilantro rice, pinto beans, and queso fresco. And the chocolate eggnog tart. It's so cute. It's topped with eggnog mousse and chocolate antlers to so look like a reindeer. And all items will be available during the party only. At Sleepy Hollow, they will have new this year, orange chicken tender served with glass noodles, green onions, and crispy garlic. Ooh, that crispy garlic, mm. And they'll also have Szechuan cauliflower. They'll also have brownie peppermint bark, um, but the chicken and the cauliflower will be available during the party hours. The bark will be available during the party hours after 8.30 p.m. And the bark will also be available at Liberty Square Market, also beginning at 8.30 p.m. during the party. Returning to Sleepy Hollow this year is the Holiday Red Velvet Waffle Sundae topped with M&Ms, pepper, peppermint ice cream, and hot fudge. And milk and cookies mousse with brown sugar cookie cake <laughs> topped with um, chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, chocolate chip cookie dough mousse and then milk mousse and chocolate chip cookies. That is a lot of layers. Both of these items are available during party hours only. Columbia Harbor House will have a gingerbread chiffon cake with cream cheese frosting, dolce ganache, and a chocolate candy gingerbread man. 
that little gingerbread man is doing the rounds. And this will only be available during regular park hours until 5 p.m. Pinocchio Village House will have three new items available during party hours until 9.30 p.m. And they will have a baked brie flatbread with brie, mango chutney, green apples, arugula, almonds, and honey drizzle. That sounds like too much. And a lasagna flatbread with Italian sausage, meatballs, five cheese blend, ricotta, and pesto. And a black forest parfait, which is a flourless chocolate cake with chocolate mousse and cherry chantilly cream. And that's topped with um, brandy cherry compote and chocolate poppin' candies. I've never heard of chocolate poppin' candies. The Friars Nook will offer five items and new this year, a holiday pot roast hot dog, which is an all beef hot dog topped with braised pot roast, fondue, horseradish, horseradish mustard and crispy onions. And they'll also have the returning Italian beef tots with braised beef. I saw someone eating it last year and it did look good. I didn't get it. It has cheese curds, jar sorry, cheese curds, jardinera and gravy. And new this year, the sugar cookie hand pie, which is sugar cookie dough wrapped in pie crust with icing and sprinkles. That sounds crazy rich. They'll also have the toasted marshmallow panna cotta tart, which is also new this year. And all of those items will be available during party hours only. They'll also have the new eggnog shake made with eggnog soft serve, um, ginger cookie crumbles, whipped cream and sprinkles, and that will be available all day and during party hours. Storybook Treats will have new this year, the Sugar Plum Vanilla Soft Serve Sunday, topped with marshmallows and almonds, and it is available during party and regular park hours. In addition to the pretzel and hot cocoa churro I told you about earlier, the pretzel car at Storybook Circus will have the Santa belt buckle. It's so cute, I might get that. It's pistachio mousse with a dark chocolate truffle center and a chocolate buckle. And it's available during the party only. Cheshire Cafe will have a Mickey shaped whoopie pie <laughs> with marshmallow mint buttercream. And that's during regular park hours only, but you will be able to get that whoopie pie during party hours at Anti-Gravities in Tomorrowland and a Cherry Cordial Joffrey's Cold Brew with cherry whipped cream, chocolate drizzle, and chocolate curls, which you'll all, and that's during regular park hours, but you'll be able to get that at Anti-Gravities also. Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe will have four returning items and that's the holiday pot roast melt, which is slow cooked beef on toast, thick toast, with cheddar, provolone, and gravy. A turkey burger topped with stuffing, provolone, and cranberry. It said traditional stuffing, and that means to me celery, so yuck. And that's served on a brioche bun. A Christmas cookie roll with buttercream and sprinkles. Peppermint eclair with white chocolate peppermint mousse and chocolate pieces. And new this year will be Christmas punch, cranberry and citrus punch with amaretto syrup and ginger ale. All items will be available during the party hours only. Next, we have Anti-Gravity's Galactic Goodies and they will have the Lump of Coal Shake. Now it's said that it's new this year, but I'm positive that Marshall and I shared one last year. I'm sure of it. But anyway, it's a cookies and cream shake and it's topped with a, a chocolate donut hole. Um, they will also have new this year, the Smoky Chocolate Brownie Sundae and it's topped with marshmallows and sprinkles. I don't know what they mean by smoky. 
They will also have the whoopie pie there that I mentioned from the Cheshire Cafe earlier. Um, Anti-Gravities will also offer that cherry cordial cold brew I told you about at Cheshire Cafe. And I think that's it. It sounds like a lot and it is. I definitely want to try the letter to Santa and maybe the buckle and one of the savory options. I'm thinking the pot roast sandwich, but for the most part, we just want to take advantage of the short ride. We have our dinner before we go. We have an early dinner and um, then usually go out and grab something after the party. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to everyone later.